Good morning, everybody. Hello. Wait a little while for everyone to arrive. It's not actually raining at the moment, which is quite nice, although I don't think that's going to last for long. Okay, you've had enough time to join now. Can anyone, can everyone hear me? Can everyone hear and see me? Just to double check. Can everyone hear and see me? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good morning. Well, it's more like afternoon. I spent most of this morning um, actually in Brico getting all the plaster for all the perimeter because I want to get that done tonight. It's got to be at night because I need to use the laser to make sure it's all level. Yeah, so what I thought I'd do for today's live is, you saw yesterday at the end of the video, I was putting these steel beams onto the wall, ready for that when it's plastered, I can just pull them back into place. Um, so I'm gonna get all them up. Now there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get up, and then they need to be trimmed. And one of the main things is, What's so important is to get these steels perfectly square. Now, I can't just go off of the wall. I can't just go, oh, 50 centimetres in from the edge of the wall because the wall may not be square and for the whole roof structure to end up nice, everything's got to be square. So once I've got all the steels on and the plaster, I can then measure all the diagonals, get it set, and that'll basically I'll work off of every measurement is off of that. So it's got to be right. Yeah, I, I mean, it is raining now, that's the problem. I just said it's not gonna rain. Yeah, oh well, okay. So, I'm gonna get these steels on. I'll try not to swear if it goes wrong. All right. So, don't think I haven't seen the comments about attach a drill to the lifter. Now, I've kind of not said anything because, well, people love putting that comment and obviously comments out the blog, but there is a good reason why I haven't attached a drill to this. Um, and that's because this has got a load of safety measures in it. So basically, if it goes up or down too quickly, it all just locks up and that's to stop, you know, if a beam's falling or something to stop it crashing down to the floor. So if you try unwind it too quick or wind it up too quick, it all just jams up. So that's why I haven't. But, you know, doing stuff like this, I think it's nice that it's quite slow and controlled. Um, it just makes things feel safer, you know. Plus it's a good workout. Right. <sighs> okay, here we go.
two. So the original aim before the disaster of trying to lift them up for the steels was that they'd been six meters. So instead of having this join in the middle every three meters, it had just been one piece, which would have been easier to like get straight, but it was much safer. And now actually I've got three meter lengths up here. They're heavy enough and trying to put six meters on there would have been too much actually. Yeah, so I think three along this back wall and then two where you are. Um, they, as I said, they just got to be roughly in place so that I can do the plaster work and pull them over. It's going to be a lot easier that way. This one, it's a little bit trickier because it can't quite get close enough to the wall at the moment. I keep forgetting to film for the vlog because you lot are distracting me. What are you going to do if you can't see this twice? now. I 
think that lifter is one of the single greatest things I have ever bought. It's made, I would have never been able to do this sort of stuff on my own, especially putting in the big structural beams. It really is a massive game changer. <sighs> yeah, okay, one, two, three, four more to do. Um, ew. Um, yeah, can you believe we're starting the roof? Like, what a thing. Um, you know, I think what's good is it's been like a slow progress up to the roof, but I always felt like it was never going to happen, and certainly everyone on no cook or an open. It's a disaster. Um, certainly everyone that I said to the roof about. I wouldn't say I didn't have faith, but, you know, it was very dubious about, you know, whether it would happen or not. And to finally start it, it just feels like quite an achievement. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of, like, there's going to be a lot of niggly, preppy bits to do. That's, that's for sure. To get everything right, you know, there's going to be a lot of working out. But... Well, I mean, I've only got a week, right? <laughs> right. guys over there because I'm doing stuff that way and you're in the way. There's that. What's everyone saying? Yeah, so just to confirm, and it's really going to make, as I keep saying, more sense um, when it's up and when we start, is that the load on this doesn't sit on top of the walls. Actually, the, the wood that goes on top of the walls is kind of like a bracing to keep everything straight. The load is going onto the ends of all the joists and then into the wall. So here it's going onto the I-beam and spreading to the ends of the wall and through the pins. Um, and it's resting all on the steel. So all the weight is going further down in the wall, mainly resting on the floor, but spreading out to the wall. So the very, very top of the wall, actually, we're beefing it up a lot more than it was originally built with the steels and stuff. The wood originally on top of the wall was so, so thin. It was just a little, just to level out the top of the wall to nail on, you know. Um, so yeah, it'll all make sense when it's up. And actually the internal structure, hope, is going to go up super, super, super quick. And so you get to see like instantly within a day, like, Right. Oh yeah, now I get it. He wasn't talking absolute rubbish.
Yes, by the way, I just saw a comment. We need to get to 400k. There's like 2,000 off. I mean, if I was hopeful, I would say that should be by Christmas, which would be a nice little Christmas present. But yeah, we need we need to hit that number. Um, so you may remember me saying the other day that all the steel arrived for the chateau. So that is the entirety of the steel to put in every single floor. But now we've done this, there's a little bit missing. So I've got to order some more. We were umming and ahhing whether to do this. There's a few different ways that it could be done. And this is a little bit overkill, but in the end I decided, you know what? I'd rather just go a bit more than necessary than not enough. guys are so lucky, I always time that this bit. Painful. Right, I reckon I can get away with do one more, then we're going to have to make some cuts. Yeah, it is a lot easier with that beam lifter. It's still a pretty heavy job. Okay, one more on, and then I'll probably leave you guys and I'll start messing about doing the cuts. And I'm bricking up under the lintel today and I really want to get on with that because it's just a job I'm putting off I don't know why just some jobs are like that you know but I just needs to be done to progress
that you never thought you'd be watching a man twiddle with his lifter live on YouTube, did you? Last one. Again, will we get this view? Just all around been up in the trees and just seen for miles and miles. It's, it's so, such an amazing view. Um, I said about maybe doing something where we take pictures now, just before the roof goes on, I set a tripod up and take pictures just to save it and then maybe I don't know, later on we can have some panoramic, you know, pictures up here to kind of show it. I think it's important to, it's nice to get it done, but there is beauty on what's here already. Okay, last one. That wasn't so hard, was it? Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, men can do two things at once. Up on here, plaster. That's actually originally how they did it. That's what was scraping off the top of the walls. It was all plaster just to get a level. Um, so I'm gonna do that, let it set, and then I can bring the beams on. And hopefully the idea is that the roof is gonna be super level and it means you know, it's going to go on quicker because I can cut everything to the same size, knowing that it's all going to fit rather than edit each one because the roof's, you know, a bit like that, as probably they did originally have to do, you know, it would have been a lot more of a time consuming job. <sighs> what a view. Okay, thank you all for watching. Um, yeah, watch the vlog tonight for lasers at night, bricking up, all sorts of Glorious, glorious stuff. Okay, right. I'll see you tonight.